Right, so here we go. Um, I'm not gonna dive deep into the thematics of the new album, Human Nature, or talk about the inspiration behind the music, um, because we have been doing so many interviews lately that if you just do a little bit of browsing in the internet, I'm sure you'll find the answers to your questions. Also concerning the upcoming shows, we really don't have a clue. We're just waiting for commentary from the promoters. They are the ones to decide whether they will be postponed, cancelled, or if they will be happening. I know that until the end of June, nothing is gonna happen, that's for sure. But after that, we'll just have to wait. That's the best we can do. Okay, so here we go. Um, Sahara Lara is asking, how did you suddenly change your composing themes from Innocence slash Ocean Soul to Evolution slash Nature? When did you feel it was time for a change, lyrically talking? Well, these themes have been there since the beginning. On Angels Fall First, we have a song called Lappi Lapland, which is about the natural landscapes of Lapland, obviously. We have a song, Sacrament of Wilderness, on Oceanborn album. Um, the Kinslayer is a good example, which is based on real life events. Creek Mary's Blood is another one. So it's always been a mix of themes. Also on Endless Form's most beautiful album, there's a song called Idi Maru, uh, My Walden, which are both very fantastical, so to say. So the mix has al always been there. I don't see the change as being so radical. Of course, I do understand your point that uh, the previous two albums, I mean, uh, Endless Forms and this upcoming Human Nature, um, they are more about the natural world, evolution, science, humankind not so personal, so to say. I mean, they are not excerpts from uh, my personal diary, so to say. So I do understand your point. Okay, Amy Wurst. I'm so butchering all these names. I'm sorry. Uh, she's asking which song on the new album turned out to be the biggest challenge, either musically or lyrically. This is actually easy, it's the first track called Music. We really struggled to get it in shape, to, to tell the story that it needs to tell. The very original version was one of the goofiest things I've ever done when it comes to songwriting, because the idea was to tell the story of the entity of music descending on mankind, and um, to start working from that premise. And <laughs> the big idea that I had in the beginning was that every single section of the song, excuse me, verse, chorus, C part, the guitar solo, they would be in different genres of music. So we would start out with metal, then go into jazz, then have a chorus, uh, which would be electronic, and then we would go into soul, um, classical music, so that every single part of the song would be in a different genre. And I was so hyped over the idea originally that, wow, just wait until the world hear the, hears this. And then when I did the original demo, it sounded awful, absolutely pretentious crap. So this was a good reminder that if you have an idea, it doesn't mean that the idea is good. And uh, trying to be original just for the sake of originality very, very rarely works. Cat Choice is asking, any future non-Nightwish related projects in the future? Have you been approached by Bethesda? Ah, Bethesda, for those of you who don't know, it is a game studio which has published, I think, Doom. Um, Fallout series, and above all, uh, Skyrim, which is one of the best things ever. <laughs> I just heard that they're actually doing a follow-up to the game in 2024, 2025, so 
looking forward to that. But to answer your question, no, we have not been approached by them. I wouldn't mind though, it's, um, <coughs> uh, it would be a lovely challenge. Sarah Barker would like to know the secret to overcoming writer's block. How do you get over the brick wall? That's a great question and it's something different for everybody, for all creative persons. Personally, I like to go out into the woods, outdoors and have a physical exercise. That's something that I feel is very cleansing to me. A really long walk, hike, kayaking trip, something that happens outdoors and uh, makes you sweat. <laughs> that, that usually helps. Natalie wants to know which are the other sources of inspiration for the new album except the known ones like Black Mirror, Da Vinci. In the last video you mentioned the better angels of our nature, so is that a reference to Steven Pinker's book? Yes it is. Will the current situation with coronavirus showcase our better angels of our nature? Um, that's a wonderful question. Um, these ongoing events, they reveal a lot about human nature. And I've seen much more good than I've seen bad. There's this overall sense of community, people coming together. We see a lot of altruism, a lot of wanting to help your fellow man. And um, the optimism is still there because this thing is not going to last forever. It's going to go away. And I do hope that people will remember this sense of community, taking care of each other also after we have gotten rid of the virus. Um, We have such huge potential as a species and just a few rotten apples on the top plus the constant fear-mongering from the media uh, takes things out of perspective constantly. And if there's something good to be taken out of this situation that we are facing now, it's this. Uh, the true angels of our nature. Rhiannon Morgan is asking, what are you reading right now? <clears throat> and do you have any book recommendations for us, please? Yeah, I'm reading the book Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. Um, I love everything she's ever done. And this is the only series that I haven't read. I think I already mentioned that. And I highly recommend the already mentioned Steven Pinker book called Enlightenment Now. Especially on these uh, days, it's w worth reading. It might change your perspective of things. Denis Katovic, another butchered name there, is asking, uh, how uncomfortable and challenging was it for you to record the bathtub scene in noise? What is the liquid? It was a lot of fun, actually, because they heated the liquid, which was a mixture of rapeseed oil and black pasta. And it felt just wonderful. It's like nothing else you've ever experienced. I stayed in that heated liquid for about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes when they shut the scenes and just good fun. <laughs> um, Eric Johnson is asking about the European tour. Yeah, like I said, we just don't know yet. We have to live day by day and wait for some confirmation whether it's going to be postponed, uh, whether it's going to happen in time. Uh, that's all we can say at the moment, I'm sorry to say. Sebastian Gilbert is asking, have you ever thought of writing a song inspired by the story of Alexander Supertramp? Excellent! It's one of my all-time favorite films and books. Uh, he's referring to the film into the wild. Um, I must have seen it at least 10 times. That's a good point. I'll, I'll consider that. Damien Partila is asking, how is 
Jukka doing? It would be nice to hear that he's doing well. I'm happy to tell you that he's doing wonderfully these days. He's in a really good place. We see each other pretty often, play some poker together, watch films, and uh, he's still taking care of the band's businesses. He's uh, the band's company CEO. So, all well there. Damien Turner is asking, what's your world view about capitalism? Do you feel that money systems are holding back scientific advances and if there were a better economy that far surpasses capitalism, would you promote it? Oh dear, uh, I've never been much into politics. I'm not politically savvy, but I try to educate myself a little bit and the conclusion that I've come to is that my worldview when it comes to politics is social democracy. I believe in a healthy mix of those two things, socialism and capitalism. Some things should be taken off the table, like healthcare, education. I mean, if you're sick, we help you, you don't have to pay. That's common sense. And the other thing is education. All the way through college and university, it should be tuition free for everybody. But then it's also deep in our DNA, it's human nature to want to compete, and that's where the capitalist aspect uh, comes to be. So that we need, uh, we shouldn't socialize car industry or gaming industry or that. A healthy dose of competition really works for a society. Uh, it's just all what's the proportion, what's the mix between those two, two things that uh, should be discussed. What's your opinion on Troy's sense of humor? asks Courtney Alsop. Well, yeah, he makes us all laugh. There's something really similar about British and Finnish humor. Uh, the Finns love shows like Laurel and Hardy, uh, Faulty Towers, Monty Python keeping up the appearances, Ricky Gervais, so there's something similar. And also when we have showed some Finnish comedy to Troy, he really, he really enjoys it. Uh, for all the Finnish people watching this, they know this uh, skit called Roudasta Rosputtoon from Studio Julmahuvi and Troy think it's one of the best things ever. Miki Parikka is asking, what kind of music have you been listening to lately other than Nightwish? I don't listen to music anymore these days, and I can't tell you why. I haven't been listening to music for years, actively. Whenever a band that I like comes up with a new album, I do check it out. But these days it's all about silence and maybe talk radio and uh, YouTube podcasts for me. Um, Hana Elfara asks, are you into philosophy or follow a particular path that influences you how to write? Philosophy, uh, well, I try to keep myself updated uh, about the achievements of science, educate myself the best I can, but I don't follow any particular dogma. I am a staunch advocate of evidence-proven science and imagination, those two go great together. Imagination takes you to places that never were, but without it you get nowhere. A famous quote by Carl Sagan. Wendy Estrada is asking, what do you feel or think when you decide a set list for a show? Um, thank you in advance. Well, we try to build the set so that the drama and excitement of the show lasts through the two hours that we are on stage. Try to make a nice little mix of new and old songs that we still enjoy playing ourselves. But of course, the more songs that you have, the harder it gets. Um, Clement Creviel, Crev, sorry, is asking, did you ever dance a gig at the funeral? 
I think he means, did you ever dance a jig at the funeral? This is a reference to the My Walden lyric. Yeah, no, not yet. Um, when I die, I hope that people will, though. Uh, Parissa is asking, I wanted to ask about Game of Thrones references throughout the album. Uh, what was the inspiration? Thanks for the music. Thank you. This is something that Marco mentioned to me halfway through the rehearsals. Uh, I think uh, she's referring to the song Noise and the main riff. It has a bit of a Game of Thrones theme song vibe into it. And this was purely coincident coincidental. I've never seen a single episode of the series. I've never watched it. So without I've heard the theme song, I'm not quite sure. So it might be a subconscious thing. And I can see the similarity, but um, these things just happen. Um, what else? Katerina Saiti is asking, if you would consider to give a concert accompanied by a live orchestra, that would be absolutely epic. Yeah, this has to be the most frequently asked question of all times. And yeah, fair enough. It's been in the plans for the past 15 years, I think. It still is. We'd love to do it in a special way, but we'll just have to wait a while longer. But uh, at some point, definitely. Hanna Heinonen is asking if I have any advice to songwriters how to write a good song from start to finish. Well, that's a big one. Uh, music is a peculiar thing in that it's not objectively possible to say what's good and what's bad. You can't measure that thing. I mean, is Master of Puppets better than the Black Album or vice versa? Who's the best singer? who's the best guitarist, what, what is the best song. It's also subjective and down to a personal experience. Um, I guess the most simple way of putting it is that if the song that you do transmits emotion to you personally, then it was worth doing. Um, forget all the norms and rules. Just find your own way, your own way of telling that story that you want to tell. But also try not to be, um, try not to s deliberately search for individuality because that's a dangerous path to take. It might make the song and the result sound artsy in a wrong way, if you know what I mean. So just be humble before the song, before the story that you want to tell it. Uh, listen to how the song wants to be told, be humble before it, and execute. That's pretty much it. I mean, and then if the result is something that you want to go back to again and again, and you get a kick out of it after listening to it a hundred times, then you have truly achieved something. Um, yeah, just forget the rest of the world and write for yourself. Sabrina Ruhti asks, is there any chance that we will see you touring with Ari someday? Yes, absolutely. We were planning uh, to release another album next year, 2021. So depending on uh, the situation with Nightwish, because many of the shows will now be postponed to next year, uh, the schedules will be remade. So it all depends on that. But it's been in the plans for a long time that we will do some live shows at some point. Let's see, then there's one more from Charlotte Blackwood asking, do you play Skyrim? <laughs> you bet I do. Um, I'm actually a wood elf on a level 74 or 75 at the moment, if I remember correctly. I'm just trying to get to level 80 because that's when Ebony Warrior is supposed to come and challenge you. This sounds so nerdy, doesn't it? But I love it. <laughs> mm. I wasn't into console games at all until a few years ago. 
Um, a friend of mine introduced me to Skyrim and I was hooked for life. And I don't really play any other console games. I did play uh, The Last of Us, uh, Witcher 3, a bit of days gone, but nothing compares to Skyrim. So yes. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, remember to take care of each other wherever you are. And we'll see at some point in the future. Cheers.